five signs that your relationship will last a lifetime. How do you know that he is the one? How can you be sure that your relationship will actually last? How do you know that with this person you can create happily ever after? Hi guys, my name is Elena Semenek and this is my YouTube channel Psychology of Happiness. Welcome! On this channel I teach people to become happier, healthier and more successful in life. If you are in a difficult situation and would like to receive my professional opinion, just share your question in the comments and I will be happy to answer it. This is a great opportunity for you to receive my professional advice for free. So be brave, share your question in the comments. And remember that your happiness depends on you. If you don't share, I won't be able to help you. So let's get to today's topic. Five signs that your relationship will last a lifetime. Today I will share the five most important signs that will help you know if your partner is the one. All five signs should be in the relationship. If one of them is missing, then this is a red flag. And the most important of all signs will be sign number five. So make sure to watch this video until the end. Consider this video as a guidance for your happily ever after and not as a strict rule because every relationship is unique. If you have any questions regarding any sign, just let me know in the comments. I will ask uh, you to stop the video and write your question right away when you have it because at the end of the video you might forget about your question. In this video, I will talk uh, addressing a partner as he, but this also works if your partner is a woman. It works for both straight couples and for the same gender couples. Okay, let's start. Sign number one that your relationship will last a lifetime is how good you feel next to your partner. When you are next to your partner, you should feel comfortable being yourself. Can you share your feelings and your emotions with this person? Can you share your happy moments and your sad moments? And vice versa, can your partner emphasize with you? If you share something, uh, the other person should be asking follow-up questions. This simply means that he cares for you. If this person is ignoring the conversation and not answering your questions, then he's probably not the one. Of course, he might be tired or busy, but be honest with yourself. Does this happen often? If he ignores your questions once in a while, then ask your partner if there is something bothering him. Don't get upset or pretend that nothing happened. Even the best relationship would die without open communication. So be open and communicate with your partner. Does he truly care about what's happening in your life? And in turn, do you care about what's happening in your partner's life? Is it mutual? If you don't have it, then your relationship will probably end soon once the passion is gone. Being comfortable next to your partner also means the ability to trust your partner. So can you truly trust your partner? And please don't lie to yourself. Be honest with yourself. Can you share your fears and your insecurities with your partner? Can you share your deepest dreams with your partner? Let's do an exercise right now. Close your eyes and imagine that 10, 15, and even 20 years passed by. Do you like waking up every morning and seeing your partner next to you? Are you happy to come home after work knowing that this person is at home? How do you feel when he comes home from work? Are you happy to see him? Let's move on. Sign number two that your relationship will last a lifetime is a good sex life. Are you really enjoying sex with your partner? My question right now is mostly addressing to women. Unfortunately, a lot of women lie to themselves. 
they might think that they love their partner, but they choose their man based on his income, social status, or they simply pick a husband who can solve their problems. Sex life is very important in a relationship. Do you want to have sex with this person for the next 5, 10, 15 years or for the rest of your life? And now I have a similar question for men. If you like having sex with a woman but catch yourself being busy on your phone when she's talking to you, or if you think that she will be a great wife but don't feel that she understands you, then maybe you're not the best for each other. Do not settle for something that seems like a good option. Instead, settle for something that feels good from the inside. Again, be honest with yourself. Remember, all five signs should be present in a relationship if you want it to last. So sign number three that your relationship will last a lifetime, common interests. Are there any hobbies, any activities that both of you enjoy doing together? If not, do you want to create one? Some couples enjoy hiking together. Others like to read the same books and then discuss them. Some couples like to watch movies together. So when I say hobbies or activities, I mean something that both of you can enjoy doing over and over again. You might watch a movie on your own from time to time, but if you're always in a different room doing different things, then what do you think would happen in 20 years? Think about your common interest that you can use as a future family traditions. These things might keep both of you excited for years. Something that you can pass on to your kids. Something that can create great memories for years to come. If you have some type of a hobby, try to introduce your partner to it. Tell him why you like it. What is so special about the things that you do? Ask your partner what he likes and why. If you have nothing in common, maybe you can come up with something completely new for the both of you and try doing it together. For example, uh, during the COVID time, when everything was closed, my husband and I started walking around our neighborhood. Uh, we did it every day for an hour. It was a great time to chat, to discuss our future plans, and just to enjoy the walk together. And you know what? We still do it. Not every day, but often enough. It became kind of our thing, and our kids also like to join us. So let's move on to the next sign, number four. Sign number four, that your relationship will last a lifetime, common future plans. Are you on the same page when you're planning your next vacation? If one of you wants to spend the weekend at home and the other person wants to get away, and this repeats over and over again, then maybe your social desires are different. It might seem trivial, but if you are talking about a lifetime of happy relationship, then this small thing might create a lot of problems. I personally experienced it with my ex-husband. He did not like the idea of exploring new places. And I, on the other hand, wanted to travel. And I still do. I like to visit new places, to learn about new cultures, to experience new cuisines. Uh, when I travel, I like to explore the city where I go. And I love water. I like snorkeling and scuba diving. It would be very hard for me to be with a person who likes to stay in all-inclusive hotel and spend all day next to the pool. One of the reasons that my marriage did not work was because we wanted to enjoy life differently. It was not about that he is a bad person or I am a bad person. It was more about lifestyle that both of us enjoy. And it was different for both of us. So be honest with yourself. Even if you love your partner very much, but deep inside you feel that you aren't comparable, then trust your guts.
If you and your partner desire different things, then give each other a chance to find another person to be truly happy with. Sign number five that your relationship will last a lifetime, common life values. In my opinion, this is the most important aspect. If any of the previous signs is missing, there are a lot of things that you can do to fix them. But if your primary values, life values, are different from your partner's, then there is almost nothing you can do to make your relationship last long. So what are the life values? These are things that are very important to you. Things like health, religion, relationship, family, money, social status, sports, uh, kids, etc. People have five to seven primary values on which they base all their decisions, all their actions and create their lives. So if your primary values are different, then this is a big chance that your relationship will fail. For example, if you think that material things are important, things like uh, a nice big house or an expensive car, and your partner feels differently, this is a problem. If you believe in God and your partner doesn't, this is another problem. If you choose a healthy lifestyle and your partner likes to eat fast food, this is another problem. If you want to have kids and your partner doesn't, this is also a problem. Yes, with time people might change outlook on life, but primary values usually stay the same. Do not think that you can change your partner. Do not think that you will make him like healthy food or convince him to buy an expensive stuff. Statistically, it takes three to seven years to change a person against his will. And you should be a master in the psychology of manipulations in order to do it. If you choose this path, be ready for constant arguments and conflicts. So before choosing the hard way, think about this. Do you want to be happy in your relationship? Or do you want to spend years trying to convince your partner to be someone that you want them to be? Uh, let's do another exercise. Right now, take a piece of paper and write down 10 things that in your opinion are very important to your partner. Now, write down 10 things that are very important to you. Do it right now. Now look at two of your lists. If you have at least five common things, then you can create a happy, healthy, loving and caring relationship together that will last a lifetime. That were the five signs that your relationship will last a lifetime. If this video was helpful, give me a like and share it with your friends and family. I would really appreciate it. And if you want to receive seven free self-development webinars, seven free guided meditations, and seven free healing exercises, then click the link below the video. Ask your questions in the comment section and I will be happy to share my professional opinion with you. See you in my next video. Bye.